Welcome back to the channel. Today, instead of working on the charger roof, which I've been trying to get done, so I was told today, I called the company, they said they're not gonna be able to ship out any of the materials until most likely Thursday or Friday. So it's really just setting me back. So instead of just sitting here doing nothing, I did work on the FC fan shroud mold. I will be making that part probably later this week, but instead of not doing anything on the charger, what I'm gonna start doing is actually painting parts, parts that I can paint. So I brought the front flares, in both side skirts over. I also have some VR4 stuff. So what I'm gonna do first is seal all this stuff. So I was just gonna scuff these and then paint them, but then I noticed a bunch of, I've already sanded them. They'll be in, a, in the time lapse in a little bit, but you guys just gonna see this ahead of time. So um, as you can see, these spots right here where it's sanded through down to the plastic, they were very rough. I don't know if that's just normal on these wide body charger fender flares. Um, the Challenger ones, I didn't notice this at all when I did them, but it just seems like these ones had a lot of spots where there's just like bumps all the way down in. They're very wavy. The side skirts, this one actually had a nick in it. So I had to put some icing in it. So sealing it will just be really nice. Plus I wanted to get that stuff sealed for the 3000 GT. So I have the both sides of the cladding for the doors as well as the the mirror bases and the mirrors and i think that'll be nice to get that stuff sealed and then tomorrow i could start painting this so probably tomorrow i'll just get all the uh the side skirts and the flares for the charger painted because i want to see that blue color and then maybe the next day i'll paint the 3000 gt stuff just so i can get some progress on the charger then i can put all this stuff in the basement and it'll be nice and safe painted and then i can just continue to work on just random miscellaneous stuff that I need to paint anyway, and it'll just kind of make the process speed up. So also I worked on the side of the car. I finally got the uh, the whole passenger side 120 gridded. So now I need to reprime all of that. And then I could go to 320, then I could pull the fender off. I'll probably do both sides in 320 so I can get both fenders off. Then I can seal the fenders. I can paint the fenders and then do the same, throw the fenders in the basement. Then they're not sitting over here and it'll be one more thing that's painted that I don't have to worry about painting later on after the car's painted. So it'll just be pre-painted. Um, hopefully by that time we start to get some of the materials to do the roof. The roof is 100% ready to make a mold. Like I said before, when I did the FC fan shroud mold, I'll be doing the same process. So a lot of people were asking me why I did so many layers of carbon fiber on this. It's just a really good mold. It makes it rigid. It makes it the tolerance is very nice. I mean, I didn't need to do it on the FC fan shroud, but I wanted to test the system out before I made the mold of the roof because the roof is gonna be a very large mold. So let's get to work on this stuff. I'll uh, I'll start to show you guys the time lapse and stuff of stuff that I just showed you that I already did, but uh, let's get the stuff sealed, painted, and just kind of go from there. Just finished masking all the parts off as well as cleaning them. The floor is wet. Now I could hit everything with a nice coat of sealer. 
The flares, they had quite a few issues. It must be like a, a mold defect because they just have all these little humps. You can see them, they're really noticeable. All the high spots right there. And then one of the side skirts has a high spot in it. So we'll be able to see that a lot better once I hit it in sealer, it's all glossy again. the front flares are sealed, the side skirts for the charger are sealed, the VR4 mirrors and the bases and the cladding all sealed and they look really good. So I was thinking about painting this stuff, but I saw a few things. I want to sit 600 grit, everything here. Tomorrow I'll do that. And then once I know that it's good to go, I could just put base on it, put clear on it. But uh, yeah, the flares do look really, really good. There was a few high spots, but it only looks like on each one, there might be a little high spot. So that's why I'm not basing them and clearing them. And then the same thing with the side skirt. So it has that high spot kind of right there. So hopefully when I sand it with 600 grit, it kind of gets rid of that. If not, I'll have to sand it down and then just I'll spot seal it and then give it a little sand on the vr4 stuff the uh, cladding came out really nice but i just want to really let it sit because i did it has sat for quite a while and it was 320 but i don't want to i want to 600 grit it and see and make sure i can't actually remember what was going on with it if everything was good or if i needed to prime it again so the sealer will kind of give me a little better inside into what I need to do. If I just need a 600 grit and the base and clear it, just like the side skirts, that's what we'll do. Same thing with the mirrors. Actually, one of the mirrors, I kind of, you can see the little drip right there. I kind of got a little bit heavy on the sealer, but that's fine. We'll just uh, 600 grit all that stuff and just go from there. But I'm really happy to have this stuff in sealer. It would be nice to just go ahead and pull these things out of the bag, base and clear them, but like I showed you, there was a bunch of high spots on the side skirt, there was nicks and there was damage. Um, who knows if it was from when I brought it from New York or if it was from the dealership. I'm pretty sure it was from the dealership because I think the side skirts were on top or in the box on top of everything. So there's not really a way they could have got damaged. Same, with, same thing with the, the flares. All that stuff was 
on top and the only thing on top of that stuff were the side skirts, which they're upside down and I don't see how they could have got damaged because of that. both of the front flares and one of the side skirts ready to go. I sanded it all in 600 grit. The other side skirt had some issues where it looked like, it almost looked like it got bent or something. So I had to sand this down quite a bit. I'm gonna reseal that and then kind of go from there. And then probably tomorrow, 600 grit, I'll probably bring some more flares down as well and uh, then go ahead and paint it. But let's get these in the color finally and just kind of, uh, I can't wait to see the color. It's been, it's been a long time coming, but it's gonna look really, really good. Too bad it's not the car, but this will be just as good. We could take these out in the sun tomorrow, check them out, and uh, we'll have kind of a good idea of what the car is gonna look like. Everybody knows what Frostbite Blue looks like, but I'm pretty excited to see these flares in Frostbite Blue.
spot that was high that I sanded down, I resealed it. So tomorrow I should be able to come and pretty much just block that out with 600 grit and then paint it. So I got the side skirt painted. I was gonna paint these flares, but after I resealed them, there was, where is it at? You can't see it now. When I, right after I sealed it, you can see it. So that's the reason I didn't paint them. But uh, yeah, I'll come and sand these with 600 tomorrow as well. Um, this one had, it actually looks like it finally filled it in. Well, no, there's a little depression there. So these, these flares and that side skirt, it seems like three out of four parts have significant body work that I had to do to them. So kind of unfortunate. I wanted to just pull them out of the packages and paint them. But even though I could only paint one side skirt, I can't wait to see this thing out in the sun tomorrow. This thing looks so good. I love painting stuff. The process is very tedious, but this color is just crazy. I love the color that I chose for this car. I can't wait to see the whole car in that color, but let's come back tomorrow when it's sunny and uh, we'll take this outside. I also sprayed out one of those little, um, my friend Chris gave me a bunch of those little car things. So I sprayed one of those out and then I also sprayed a spray out card just to see how many coats the Sherwin Williams paint took to cover all the letters. So it was actually surprising. The first coat pretty much covered everything. And after the second coat, it was 100% gone. Couldn't see any of the letters. And I did three coats on the side skirt and then two coats of clear. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm planning to do with the whole car is I'm gonna double clear everything. So tomorrow what I'm gonna do, I'll take this thing outside and then I'm going to look at it Check it out and be like, well, now I have to 800 grit it and then I'm gonna re-clear it tomorrow as well. So I'm putting two coats of clear, 800 grit, and then another two coats of clear. And that's how the whole car is gonna be. So it'll look really, really deep and uh, I'll just have that extra layer of clear. And I also think I'm gonna clear bra everything. So I just wanted to just uh, get this thing really deep and look really glossy. And I mean, just that first coat, I love the Sherwin Williams paint. It just is so smooth. I, uh, I just love painting. It's just, look how smooth. Look at the light. So as I said before with the roof, look at that light. Look how nice and smooth that is. So until tomorrow, we'll uh, take that thing outside. I'm gonna end the video here. Since I don't have the stuff for the roof, I did the side skirt, painted that. The, they actually shipped out the material for the roof today. So today is Monday. I think today's Monday. So today's Monday maybe, and it should be here hopefully by Friday. So it's only coming from Wisconsin to Colorado. So it should only take a couple of days, which then I can do the roof, get that all done, make the roof, and then we can paint the car. Cause I really want to see the car this color now that I saw the side skirt. So I'm going to start busting some stuff out, getting stuff painted. There's a lot of pieces to this puzzle, but if you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.